Uh, like like I said, the European teams kept doing these splits that we saw in the old train, and I, I really expect this to be a, a pretty fast-paced match on these terror sides. I don't think any team feels comfortable yet playing it slow with all these new angles. I think they just want to get out and run and gun and see who can win. Well, we're about to see who uh, who's going to win because... It looks like our knife round's already started, and it looks like mouse pads are actually in full control of it. Now, keep in mind on pistols this year, CLG has something like an 82% win rate, and on yeah. T sides this year, mouse pads has something like a 20% win rate. So, winning a pistol, if you win pistols that commonly, you should be winning matches, because if you win two pistols and don't win, you did something terribly wrong. But I want to point this out. There's something really, really interesting and I, I tweeted this the other day as well this it's almost karma how former organizations which mouse spaz is the former clg they always put up good matches you look at dignitas tsm it was close ldlc this weekend at land super close against envious the same can be said for lunatic it just happens over and over again so it's grudge matches man and, and look at this it's going to be a fast center push here from the terrorists just not doing anything tactical whatsoever just going to try to bully their way into the bomb site of clg and impasta is going to be the one that's down there they do have Demise to shoot from a distance, but he's already done a little bit of damage, taking the front load of it himself, though. So he's forced back inside the connector, and a good entrance comes in. Lucky with one, Cutler with the other. Now Zek has to try and re-enter from Z, Z connector, and unfortunately tearing a little bit too up close and personal and into his, his space. And sorry, girlfriend, you go no further. It's one nothing CLG, just like that really fast take, like you said. Yeah, just just a bull rush, and they tr and they didn't even have to trade or anything like that. The, the, just the pistols from uh, from Mouse Spaz weren't connecting with anything, and they were playing so close. Once they run out of ammo and they're that close, those Glocks are just going to overrun them. So you have to land those shots if you're going to play that that uh, that up close to the choke points. This is another interesting fact. Uh, Lucky was on the roster the last time Train was played by CLG. He was actually their fifth way back when. So yeah, in season I seventeen. They're the team to really not complete their roster from this NA shuffle. They still haven't decided on a fifth. We talked about that with Kadian, and, you know, even Mo played for him recently. Yeah, and I thought that was interesting, but Kadian could be a really good pickup if they can grab that. I thought JDM was the clear-cut one for the team, but obviously he's got work issues and can't play till later in the evening or something along those lines, uh, according to Tarek's stream last night. But Bomb will go down on this buy round from CLG. Scout out for Zek. Hasn't been able to spot up anyone just yet, and that smoke out on the lower side means Cutler can sit back comfortably and just hold on to this bomb. Does get creeped up, though, by Fruit. Good play with the CZ-75. Can he get the second one? No, unfortunately, not enough ammo left for him to take down Hayes, but he came oh so close. Four HP, and FNS is equally as low on five, so really good chance for Polly on the backside right now. Not sure he's got quite enough time to get to the bomb, though. No diffuser. So he may just want to hang on to this AK. In fact, he's going to go further. He actually could potentially knock down everyone else that remains, and that's exactly the case. But as mentioned, he won't have the uh, wire cutter on hand, so away he goes. And the round will go CLG, but that was expensive. And he yeah. gets away with one HP. That was a wonderful round for Mousepaz. And two, two players I want to bring up really quick is Pauly, who we just saw uh, on overpass against Elevate. One of the reasons why they were so effective, if he doesn't feel pressure on where he's defending as a counter-terrorist, he's going to flank it. He's going to push it, and he's going to try and get that wide flank. Uh, and then also, this will be a player to watch on this map is Zek, who's their opper, who's had some really good success despite, despite their team being winless. Uh, he individually with that op has shown up and performed very, very well, and that's going to be crucial on this map. Lucky does open it up. That's Polly to drop. That's the AK down already as Cutler comes around the backside with the SMG. $600 to him as he takes down Zex over top the back of the bomb train. So FNS will plant this bomb. Interesting default plant. Not really open to any direct angle other than long. So FNS will slowly work his way out into the one alley. Lucky will get on top of green train. Yeah, nothing really to do here but, but try and go for an exit kill. Uh, and unfortunately, they couldn't do any more damage than that uh, this round because they had that fantastic five kill round in the last one. They, they lost it, obviously, but doing any more damage to the economy would have been huge, but they're not able to get anything this round. Good attempt by Demise. He does take down one, make it two. Good job by him to take the guns out of their hands because second straight time that bomb that has to get lucky oh it doesn't he actually okay so not a lot of damage okay i still don't know the the radius yeah the bomb map. the explosion radius yeah that's interesting i would have thought inside the site he would have taken more damage than that because he only took three damage from that angle so lucky gets away i thought uh, i thought for sure he was going to go down either way two very expensive rounds so this upgrade comes out now for clg they'll go on to the ak-47s but look how broke they are in doing so 
Yeah, this will be brutal for them. Uh, I mean, both teams are pretty much beat up on the, in terms of their economy from that second round from CLG losing all five weapons. And actually, this surprises me. You're seeing CLG set up for some smokes. Hazed and uh, I believe that's Tarek with them who are, who are out uh, by the blue box setting up for smokes. I mean, the nope, current meta as well is, is that the SMGs, normally you can lose a round and still be able to buy when you start out with the pistol. So... This uh, this is good work from Mousepads. This limits uh, limits the damage and economy early on. But slow setup, so this time they are playing a lot more passive. FNS and Hazed way back toward the spawn, likely looking to get some smokes out onto the A site. Meanwhile, the rest of them are lurking toward B. So no ladder split, which is wise, because Pauly is waiting down below. But in they come, and Pasta finds the first. Tarek's the one that drops, and Lucky gets back into him, so even trade. But look at Pauly, just waiting for the right time to pop up and get in behind them. The question is when is Lucky's now going to take down Demise? Zek did find one before that, and Lucky on 4 HP, this gives the advantage, well I was about to say to Mouse Spaz, but FNS changes that back, it's Pauly that drops, Nade goes out, decent damage out on the Zek, down to 87 as the second one collects onto him as well, but Lucky has to be so careful. Yeah, Look just play by the smoke. He heard him. Zek, Lucky heard Zek go up. Still gets the shot on Cutler, but he has to push forward. Does catch him out inside the smoke, so Lucky's done more than his job because with 4 HP, that's all he had to do. Finesse bouncing that Molotov. Doesn't get directly on top of the bomb. It's just below it. And I think Fruit can still get this defuse because of it. No, he's running no, away. No he kit. doesn't have a kit. Here's so that bomb radius for you. Yeah, no damage from there. That's, uh, that's interesting because inside the hulls, it did massive damage the first round. Yeah, and, and that's going to be interesting to see. The the setup from Mousepaz was so close to ladder. I, I expected Polly to make a very aggressive flank, and I, you know I said he's he's someone who likes to flank on these on these rounds. So they punish him that round for it. That might scare it away, uh, scare them away from flanking in the future. But one of the keys was because the economy was so low because of that second round buy for Mousepaz. I mean they did great damage with it, but they couldn't afford all the nades they would have liked, and obviously not the kits. But the the planner was so low in the bomb site after he planted the bomb. If they'd had one nade, they could have cleaned him out and turned that into a two on two very easily. And that's something you see on train often, but they just couldn't afford it. Nice shot come out from Tarek to trade out with Fruit that time. But look at FNS comes up and collects them all. So good anti-eco from him. He'll happily pick up the, uh, the money. And the bomb does go down after the fact. That's good money for, I believe that was Lucky who put it in place. So small things, this will start to build up, but we're going to see Zek go straight for this AWP and work in against them. Question is, they go, I don't know if there is room for a double up set up on Terrain right now in this current guise. I'm not sure the angles exist anymore for it. Uh, I, w I don't know if I double up, but the, the auto sniper on this map is still a beast. It's still an absolute monster. So if you want to open yeah, auto true. sniper, I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain about that one. And Zek does get that opening kill on Cutler, tries to make it out T-Con very, very quickly. But that is true that the auto sniper, I think this was actually the most potent map for it before uh, before it was taken away from the map. Fruit's in a very scary spot. If he falls here, I don't know if they saw where that where that came from. It doesn't look like it, but playing in the smoke now, so he's just playing a very sneaky game at the moment. He's going to have to play this well off Zek. It's pretty much Zek who has to support him out here, and Hayes is already going to spot him. He's down. So now it really comes down to they spot him up close. I don't think they did because they're going to fall off this pick and actually rotate the bomb back toward the T-spawn, likely toward Connector, and they'll split toward A as Finesse is waiting inside to get in toward the ladder. Polly's waiting down below, though. So Hazed is in the hot spot right now. Easy shot onto Fruit as he pushes through. Good waiting and lurk position, and they haven't committed. They actually fall back onto this, so CLG's playing a really passive strategy right now. Yeah, but so is Mouse Spaz, and you look at Pauly, he's been in that ladder room this whole round, basically. He's not getting any information for his team. Finally moves out of it, but he, he's basically just only there to support. He can't give them any kind of pre-warning, so it's basically three one-on-one -on -one battles that was, is what Mouse Spaz is set up for at the moment. Now work it toward Ivy. FNS will come back around. Pauly's definitely going to hear him coming up the stairs, so he's going to hold that angle and still just... Peek away with that M4 as Lucky creeps around the corner. FNS does get the better of Polly down below, so interestingly gets caught out despite waiting the entire round, and as a result, Demise very open to the exposure. And the shot was taken. So Impasta now finds himself one on four post plant, has the M4, and I think he's very uh, very likely to hold on to that, or at least try to. Gets spotted up already from Hayes, does take him down, but Hayes is going to know he dinked him. He's going to call for that, so they should go on the chase, and already Tarek's on the other side. And Catches him out as he tries to get away. 5 nothing CLG. Great start. And one thing about Mouse Pass, you know, especially against teams who were in invite last season, they, they have a 53% win rate on their on their defensive rounds against returning invite teams or returning professional teams. They're 24 to 45 on it. And one thing that, that 
CLG really did that round is once they got the man advantage, you said they played it so patiently that they really made Mouse Spaz think about it. They really made Mouse Spaz play spread out, and they just kind of found their battles. So when they get that man advantage, they kind of slowed things down, and they just they let Mouse Spaz get you know spread away from each other across the map, and they found some one on ones, and FNS wins both of them. Lucky gets him past. Uh, he's having a hot game right now. He leads the way on seven. This forces Zek back through Z. Staggered by Polly with just the 5 7. Cutler's going to find Zek. That's a FAMAS down. On the dirt as Cutler. Interesting point of aim when he comes around the corner. Not sure what he was trying to stare up, up at the wall, but Tarek's going to find Demise. So Fruit from the very backside of the beast site does manage to get hazed at least, but he won't be able to stop this bomb plant from going down. And Polly rotates around. He does pick up this FAMAS. So comes from Z, gives them a second rifle to try and retake this site worth, but this is desperate. Money bonus is working for them, so there's no reason to save at this point. But Lucky tries to take the battle right now. Strictly against Polly, he actually comes back over, catches Fruit out. He thought he might have had a free chance to move up closer toward the site. Meanwhile, Polly does get two, almost makes it three. No, FNS going to drop him in the end. And a little bit closer on the retake that time, but this is uh, this is just looking completely one-sided so far. Yeah, M Mouse Pass has got to find a way, uh, you know, outside of winning the initial battles, that would be fantastic if they can do that, but they need to have players in position to trade early on, or at least to get the information to be able to live, because you see that their rotations are getting very, very static. Uh, especially in mid-rounds, their players are very stationary, so they're not able to gain information at any point, so they can't rotate, you know, to prevent CLG from taking something. Everything they're doing is reactionary. And Lucky's already going to find Polly again at ladder room. Now they can try and split this 2-2 onto this side. His fruit gets caught at blue. So Cutler, he's being really slow considering the rest of his team's already on the A site. And rather than go in and join them, they've got that under control. He'll watch for the flank, but Finesse is already over there. He's inside those B tunnels, or hallway, I guess, rather they are. As Demise finds himself suddenly alone and very afraid, although not afraid enough to take down FNS. That's uh, going to put the bomb back on the site finally, but Cutler's going to close it out with a round, and Op gets the kill. Yeah, this Mouse Pass team is a team that, in previous matches, they, they've looked very good in the early stages of rounds on maps like Inferno and on, on Cash against some, some higher level teams. It's their mid-rounds they've always struggled at, and here, I mean, you can see CLG's just winning all the early game battles. That's this CLG is a team that wants to win that early battle and just exploit the fact that they have the man advantage. I mean, every team would love to do it, but CLG relies on it, and they're getting their way, you know, every single round, every single time here against Mouse Pass at the moment. They haven't even really had to diversify what they're doing as terrorists. I mean, look, they know, they know they're going to get a pick somewhere, and now they're just going to slow things down. And, and Zek with that AWP is actually over here in Halls. This could be a way for, for Mouse Pass to get, a, get an early advantage. I have to say, Pauly's being quite predictable, though. That's, that's one other player that's been in the same position on the yeah, ladder every he's always single going, round. He wants to be in a position to flank very quickly, and this is the best place to do it. But, yeah, he's just not mixing it up. Yeah, if you play, like, sure, if they go to B, you're right, he's in a great flank position, but if they hit A, they've been checking that spot every time. In fact, he's lost that duel now twice. It might be better to play a passive angle on ladder and try and support over toward the main connector and then take the secondary battle when it comes in, but... Or even maybe try and get aggressive and push the main connector and get around completely behind him, because they are playing passive enough on these B takes that he would have time to do that. As Tarek's going to go right past, Molotovs did get bounced inside the site. That'll throw them off a little bit. Good position right now. As Impasta takes down Cutler, good shot from the off. Now it's going to be Hayes trying to respond backwards. He throws away the AK and grabs that rifle that was dropped over. And Impasta just tagged up his teammate. I think they look a little bit on edge right now because Paulie's at least going to pull them back. This time it works on the flank, so it does pay off. Demise makes up for lost ground. But man, Impasta looked a little bit scared. I think somebody <laughs> got down below. So they get around. That, that was good. They, they have the rest of them all held their angles, but that was a little bit hairy from him past. It. Yeah, it definitely was. But uh, yeah, he gets that first kill. And here's the. I mean, they they had that double op setup. So even going outside, uh, that's gonna work. That, that setup will work perfectly if CLG keeps up these uh, these slower tactical rounds. But on the rounds where they're just going very quickly and you know trading an entry kill very very early on, it's gonna be tough to retake, especially on a map like this. So many close quarter fights. It's gonna be so difficult. Well, comms need to get a little more clear than that. It's very easy to do when you're on edge. And, and some teams like to play silently when they play off of each other, but you can't make little mistakes like that. Definitely didn't 
really matter in the end because they won the round, but it could have been costly, potentially costly. Lucky can open this one up. Polly's dropped already. That gives them the ladder room, and now this potential split onto A. And they're going to come in all from the front side. Fruit comes around the front side of the green terrain now. He's going to have to hold off the back side, and that's where Lucky's trying to push in. Are they going to spot each other? There's a smoke down. I don't think they will. Yes, they do. Fruit finds Lucky, pushes through, gets a second on Cutler. Good play from him so far. As the bomb still gets dropped in behind him, so now Fruit's forced to fall back, and Tarek's going to find him on the way back into the site. But the retake's already happening because Mouse Pass rotated very early, and Pasta gets the shot on Haze. They have a smoke as well. They'll drop that onto the bomb, and they're going to go for this, and Pasta's going to be the one to try and get this defuse, and they'll get it. Tarek's already out of it, so another good round this time for Mouse Spaz, and it's only eight so far for CLG. If they can start to pull this back now, they might give themselves somewhat of a chance. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before this match started. Those those close smokes that were thrown, it gives you know it gives Mouse Spaz just as much help as it gives CLG. They're able to kind of swing out a little bit more safely, but it allowed player you know that player like Fruit to kind of push up in the train sandwich and make a couple plays, get a couple kills there, and whittle down the offense. And uh, before. We get too far. I just want to let you know that you're saying it's impasta. impasta. Yeah, yeah, I got. It. <laughs> you did this. You did this last season too, I think, if I remember yeah, correctly. I think I did. It's just like a, I don't it's, know. Yeah, it's the fanatics of go with it. Canadian versus United States I'm really language. I just want lasagna. <laughs> Leave me alone, impsta. We got it ten rounds in. It's it's not a big deal. Oh whatever. Game of Thrones amp. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Tyrion Lannister all night. Nobody spoil season five for me, or I will kill you because I need to marathon that this week. So Imp Lasagna will uh, fall back this time. They're actually going to play this both from lower right now. But good flank this time. There it is. That's exactly what we were talking about from Paulie yep. changing it up. He goes the long way around, catches out Finesse. This will Look at the CLG. defense too on the inside. Now they have three players ready to go on the inside because of this flank. They know they're not anywhere else but, but in these halls. Step, pops up with the out, but he wasn't quite off the ladder, I don't think. I think he was still on the top step, so he won't have the accuracy, but it won't matter. Demise down low, and nice one tap onto Tarek as well with the USP. That's a 3k for him, and this is a much, much tidier defense in the last few rounds. Whether it's feeling out the map and finding their feet, or just warming up, either way, they're definitely looking a lot more composed. And you called it, the, the push from Pauly just gave them that much more defensive presence on the B site. Right, and it's, it all comes down to that information, where, where Mouse Spaz in some previous rounds was very static, not finding information, not, not really doing much to find out what CLG was doing. That round, the massive flank from Pauly works, they get that information and they can react to it before the hit comes. You know, they, they can stack over at that B-bomb site and just shut things down, so nice play from Mouse Spaz these last few. Already Zach's gonna get Tarek, FNS burns alive, Pauly... Charge of Arson finally has to pay the price of the death penalty to Hazed, but Fruit's going to close him off, and the anti-eco is extremely strong. Not to mention, they, they reset the money bonus, but they, they surpassed that and went all the way to these four rounds, so it's almost switched back the way as we get to the last couple of rounds of the half. And like I said, they only got eight on CLG, so if they can pull this out, if Mouse Pass can continue playing as they are and win out this half, it would definitely make for an interesting, uh, interesting T-side from them. Yeah, especially early on in this in this map's lifespan, with teams not quite being used to it, they could pull something crazy out. And Zach's grabbing this angle. That, that, that's what I like about this new train too. They still have that feel of that mid pick with oppers on this map was always huge. So they still kept that angle for us. But once again, polly has been playing so aggressively. He's not going into the ladder room this time, but aggressive in the mid. He's not going to win that battle versus Lucky. He does dink him down, but it's taken out for his trouble. Cutler waiting on the back side of the smoke from ladder does have a chance to try and work inside the site once his teammates arrive. Imps just built up a heck of an economy. Considering he has an op out right now, he still has five digits to play with. Yeah, it's and been I guess quite that's a while what happened. Since he died. I mean, when, when you eat pasta all, all your life, you can save a lot of money. You know, you don't have to spend it on the meat, <laughs> so that's what happens. And, and now he's got uh, money in his wallet. It's not an expensive food group. No. Fueled by ramen. But here they go. CLG want to get into upper. Impsta waiting on the backside. Easy shot into Hazed. He peeks out slowly. Had no idea that he was already in the crosshair. Deer in the headlights and dinner is served. That's why he can buy lasagna and still get the meat. Because if he gets the kills, he'll just bake them alive on the barbecue. His fruit's going to take down Tarek. That closes out your IV push. And now it's on to Zek. Bomb's still going to get planted right now. Unless Zek comes around the corner a little bit faster. Nice reaction shot. Does get FNS up close. But the bomb is in position, so Cutler, if he can find a way off the top of this train, has a chance to do it. Demise is actually going to get the DK there on Zek as they tried to get the shot together and collectively. 
And that unfortunately brings it back to a two and two. So this bomb getting down, Zek not getting around the corner. That could make all the difference, because CLG might find themselves around here, but Demise wants nothing to do with it. He knows they're both here, and he knows they're low HP. Well played from him. Good push forward. And this time, they do have the kit, so they will collect in their fifth round and continue forward. Yeah, both got stuck in, in that, you know, old old hell, uh, old Terra 7. And that's such a crucial spot to be in, and actually, I believe Cutler was holding it, you know, wonderfully. with the, Smoked it off. He only had 8 HP. Couldn't really do anything, but such an advantageous position, but once you get two players in there and you're bottled back, that's just unfortunate. So a nice retake from Mousepad is going to give him five straight now. It was all CLG early on, but now this defense has really come together. This is uh, this is looking a lot more promising. Paulie's again going to head toward that ladder. Actually, I'm not sure he is this time because he smoked it. So this will change him. He's going to go for this long push again. So he's going to go all the way through the connector and try and get behind them. And if and they can get a read on this, if they read that he smoked, he does this, they could actually catch him off for it. And it's just such a gambling play. Like it's it just that's that's the trouble. And now they're going to be able to stack this B bomb site. You can already see the players starting to lean over towards B, but. You know, if this doesn't yeah, work issue. out, they're at such a disadvantage. Yeah, you're right. And if they had gone ladder quickly or back into A, A's really weak. So if they were going for like an IV split, for, for example, then he's out of position almost. But again, if he can play from the reverse, they can play on a retake with him still up and have every angle covered off. So there's there's pros and cons all the way around as Hayes will take down him. Step in they go. But again, they've stacked up this B side because of this early push from Pauly. And Demise is going to get caught. Nice shot from Lucky. Zek, though, does massive work to Hayes. And Pauly's already arrived. They're so slow in the entry that Pauly gets behind him. They have to start to read this. Either whether by the stack, the fact that there's more at home, or just the fact that he smokes off ladder. They need to be aware of Pauly's movements because right now he's definitely making it work. But they still have the man advantage on CLG's side. The unfortunate aspect is that the bomb is down and Zek's going to catch back out to Eric. Now Finesse goes back into him. It's all left onto Pauly. The man who orchestrated the play to begin with and he's already spotted up. He's given himself away with that early shot. Finesse, the one with the AK, wants to take the fight as Cutler tries to get up close and personal and he'll go for the safe plant here. Yeah, it takes it to the opposite end of the bomb train. Oh, oh Pauly shot a dead body. He shot at a dead body there, but... That's got to be frustrating. Part, I mean, CLG wins that, but Pauly on that flank, they actually had Cutler at the bottom of the ladder waiting for that flank that whole time, and it, and it, it never came. It came all the way through T-Spawn, so that's got to be frustrating. But instead of going for the plant immediately, they pushed up down the alleys. They pushed up down the sidewalk, got aggressive onto the double off setup, got in close to him, and was able to kind of, you know, minimalize the damage that Pauly was able to do because no one was simply there to be flanked anymore. So... We went from 8 nothing to 9-5. A good comeback from Mouse Baz, but here's that push again. Polly's going to catch off this time, traded immediately by Lucky, and Hayes is going to follow in those footsteps as well. So, good push onto upper right now. As Hayes fires back. Zek, good response, takes down FNS, but Tarek found fruit in the meantime, so this still remains 3-on-3 three three and as even as you like. Oh, that was almost a lineup. Zek almost got the lineup. He gets them both either way on the repeat. But that was almost double penetration as Tarek all by himself oh, looks away just a little bit too soon and already takes a massive amount of damage as Impsta gets dropped in the end, but... He gets two ups. The damage doesn't really matter at the moment. That's true. It's one one or done, basically, for both. So, I mean, Although, take, well, take that as a they go to pistol. If they swap over to a pistol, he's only on 12. It would be enough. Yeah, but they're playing far back. They're going to keep their ops out. It's just kind of pick your poison at this point because he's against the, ops, so his damage doesn't matter, but the angles they're holding are just so the, hard to predict. The the trouble, too, is that the bomb is down directly in front of the Mises angle at the second alley, so Tarek pretty much has to win this one-on-one -on -one with Zek right now when he comes around the corner and force him off that angle, but he's going to come with his back out, and Zek will catch him off for it. So 9-6, good little comeback from Mouse Spaz. Yeah, it was. It was a pretty good comeback, and, and it was uh, a couple of those plays that... It was those quick flanks, quick, uh, quick plays from Polly, the quick flanks that he had. I mean, that, that kind of the gambles, they didn't work early on, but they were working out, you know, in the middle portions of that half, and he kind of got him on board. Uh, and they just kind of showed up that once they got that double op set up, you know, they were able, you know, they could play more passive. They, they, they let those ops go to work. So instead of losing the initial rifle battles, they were just getting picks with the, with the sniper rifles from far back. So that really helped alleviate some of those uh, early round struggles they were having. Shout out to Lex, who says, what do you call fake pasta? Impasta? <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm, Lex. Remember that time you were a good caster, but you gave it up to be an average pro player? Ooh. 
Rip, but this uh, <laughs> next uh, pistol is going to get underway. And of course, CLG, like we said, have an 82% pistol rating this season. Cutler's already showing us why. Is through the smoke, he gets Impsta. And Polly drops immediately after. Tarek catches him out on the way by. Look at Tarek pushing forward. Bomb does go down, though. And there's the thing with the smokes on this map. Those smokes go out. As they all do go down, this will be an easy defuse. But those smokes do go out quite quickly. You can rush bomb plants. So even on eco rounds, you can get situations where you might be able to build up economy just from getting bomb plants. It's going to be interesting to see how teams utilize that. Yeah, but just so many, so many terrorists died. I think there was like two to three died within within the bomb site. So those smokes helped them get in, but there was nothing to help them out. That CLG defense. I mean, we you you mentioned how good they are in pistol rounds. I, I think their CT pistol round win rate is like ninety one percent. So that round, they get into the bomb site, they get the plant plant down, and all the CLG members just swarm it. Don't let them exit. So a great retake by CLG, or not even really letting it get to the retake point, and even let them out of the bomb site. I love how we uh, unlock the chat. Just to uh, troll Lex a little harder. Yeah, that, that is a good thing. Oh, finesse up close. This is uh, tight. He's not. He's got to throw that fire out right now, or they're going to be around and on top of him so soon. As Hayes, meanwhile, wants to hold out toward long. Cutler inside on A. Lucky's got this scout. Can try and get the jump shot. This is actually a decent spot for a jump shot. It's a little bit farther than the mirage spot, but this is a very similar situation where you're not exposed at all until you go for the jump. So. This is uh, this is definitely interesting to see. The, the biggest issue is he's not he's not holding it. He's not going to be able to stop him. It's just such a quick pathway to the exit. Demise already gets out, but he does he actually does win that fight with FNS. Less, Lucky misses a second one, so they're going to be able to take into this bomb site. Now Lucky's got to be careful. But there's Tarek saving the day. A couple five seven kills. He's going to bring it down to a three on four, but they do get the bomb planted. Oh, Polly with a nice second shot onto Lucky. And now this retake is in full effect into a two on two. Zek very very low gets dinked out by Cutler. And it's just going to be up to fruit. Uh, Fruit's going to try and come in late. Try and bait out the diffuser. But Hayes holds the good angle, so he'll get dropped. CLG now on to 11. But again, importantly, the, the positioning of the bomb, uh, bomb sites excuse me, on this map do allow for quick plants. And even with pistols that time, they get another bomb plant down. They're not quite because of the force by not quite. They, they could actually force out Galil's with an a, two AKs right now, but not quite. Actually, they're going to. Okay, there you go. So those two bomb plants do make a difference. I was going to say they might be better off to save one more, but that's exactly what they do, and that's all as a result of those quick plants. Yeah, maybe trying to also take advantage of, of two SMGs on the side of CLG at the moment. There is an op in Tarek's hands. But... That's actually that's actually a really good point. With the SMGs currently in the meta, they know if they can force an early buy and get them get the rifles out before the upgrades, you might be able to catch them off. So far, not the case, though. Cutler finds Demise. Yeah, just coming through that smoke, but now Tarek is really stuck in a tough spot. He's not dropping quite yet. Cutler also is just in hell. He's going to have a gun battle here. He sprays one down. And this attack from, from Mousepaz is just getting annihilated at the moment. Even Hayes winning long range with that MP7 against a Galil. So just a very uncoordinated. It felt like some players jumped through the smoke, some stayed behind it and waited. It didn't work out for him at all. So CLG's now got a commanding lead onto this match. Oh, commanding lead, indeed. Doubling back up. Op goes to Tarek this time. Where's his spawn? Is he the front spawn? No, he's not. So this is just the call from them to go directly to him. It was interesting. I was thinking they might try and rush him out toward maybe the direct connector, but he's going to sit back now. The other thing that I've already seen CLG do is in two straight rounds, they've had people in the heaven. We never saw Mouse Baz use that spot once. And it does have really good vision over top of the bomb site and a lot more coverage than the former map gave it. Although you can't quite hide in the backside quite as much. So if you come out from Ivy, you're still yeah, going to be exposed. I wouldn't say it has a lot more cover, but it definitely gives you a better escape route. It's easier to escape from if you get caught up there. Easier to escape, yeah. And I think better cover from the left, but directly out in front, probably less so. Hayes, though, will find Zek. Demise gets back into Cutler, though. So this is evening right back up, or is it? Never mind. As Hayes will take down Imps to Tarek, now gets Polly, and it's all left to the Forbidden Fruit. Let's see if he can taint the world one more time. Has picked up the op at least, and does bring it back down to two men remaining. Yeah, he's the bomb as well with 40 seconds left. The issue is, is he going to be able to he's spot this flight out? He's getting shot from one side. He turns around. Lucky's going to spray him off, so now he's going to pick up that AWP for Tarek. It is kind of interesting seeing Tarek AWP. I don't... I guess it's alright on the CT side. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, Tarek's always felt to me like the playmaker of CLG. I don't want to see him pick up that AWP. I, I want to see him be able to go in with rifles and, and make some magic happen when it's needed.
Well, we're going to have an op-out in response from Zach. He did fairly well, I have to say, in the first half with his. He's actually got 14 frags total, which is not bad for an op. But Paulie leads the way for them on 16. He's actually knotted up right now with Lucky on top. Oh, no, I take that back. Tarek's got 18. He just has less points, so he's further down. But good push from Cutler. Catch how Zach off, so this op, when he, I don't even know how he got there for free. Specifically when an op was the player lurking up. All right. Yeah, you think it would have been spotted from far away, but Cutler does a little bit of a lurk play on his own. Picks one off, and now Demise has got to go grab that. Look at the defense. I mean, Lucky's pushed up all the way into B-Hall, so, so, I mean, he's calling out if they're there. They can kind of rotate off. Finally, FNS is going to come back to support him a little bit. Hayes gets one on the yard, and now FNS is going to come on a fire. He gets taken out, so it's all on Lucky now to do his peak. When's he going to do it? Tarek takes one down, coming down lower ramp. Amstaff spots out Lucky, not able to get any kills with it, though. Just playing the corner perfectly. He's delaying this hit for so long. Look at the rotations coming in. Lucky grabs one. M or Fruit trades him out, but one on three, and they're all at this bomb site. He's just going to get opt from far back. CLG up 14 mm -hmm. to 6. Yeah, good holds. CLG is looking very composed. Not fooled at all. And, and, and a slightly different push. We never saw that IV push at all from, from the Mouse Spaz side. And it was interesting. A, uh, quite a few rounds. The only, in fact, the only one we saw was that particular round where I, uh, I can't remember who it was. At this point, I think it was Fruit that got stuck in behind the AC, the, um, I don't know, E-Box, I guess we can call it the AC stack that's in that, that hallway. What can yep. we call this? I'm trying to, I, I don't know what this is, filing cabinet, I guess? I'm trying to find it. S server tower? <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but nonetheless, they never went all the way through and, and never really got the information, he got, and then he got trapped as a result, so. Yes, Lex, good luck in practice, you need lots of it. JK, see you soon miss you but lucky this time so again aggression on the opposite side of the map for clg they'll just funnel off the offense and zex already gonna get caught good response though they do get poly with one with the tech nine and demise uses that a oh, little bit of a misfire from fruit makes up for it immediately on Hayes. did some team damage but using that galil to start things off on the entry fruit gets around the back side of green they know Tarek is up above yeah he just spams him down Process of elimination. There's nowhere else he could be, and Fruit catches out FNS. So they do finally get one, one, uh, excuse me, one round on the terrorist side, and uh, they've got a lot more to go. But this is uh, this is at least promising that they're putting up reasonable numbers against CLG on a map that's not that commonly played. Well, not played at all really in North America until now. Yet. Yeah, yeah that, that didn't. Big... That, those are some good trades by Mouse Spaz, but I, I do want to highlight that that cut that push by Cutler was actually really really well executed with a nice pop flash in a team mid. He gets that one, wasn't able to get the second one or fall off, but uh, that pop flash from his team was it was a great little way to get a kill and find some information before he fell. I liked it. it didn't work out, but I liked it. Mouse Spaz this time grouping up toward the B bomb site. Lucky's on the low side of the upper ramp. If that makes sense. Low side of upper. Actually, he's going to get on top of the train here. Give himself a different angle with this M4. And FNS only has a CZ75 watching lower. He does have full nades, though. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't smoked off lower yet. And here he is. He just pulls it. Oh, then he switches away from it. So so there's an open. And this is where it leans like the, it looks like the attack is going to come. Mousepad is really leaning over this way. Three players in those box halls around that server tower file cabinet you spoke of. Mm. We're going to have to, like, hold a vote on what the hell that is. FNS still waiting down below with a 5-7. Lucky going to toss out an 8 and actually catches Zek. It's kind of uncommon and almost debatable if that's worth it to use an 8 in that position just because of how underpowered they are. But look at what the damage has done from Finesse as he gets up close on that flash. They're probably on that smoke, but in that case, the nade did do damage, so it will pay off a little bit, but Zek on the op still wants to try and get an early peek. Bomb does go down again. It's a close-up op, and lots of time to line up that shot on Lucky, who can't land it in return. This nade could be big. This nade could be massive, and it is. Touchdown on the Demise. So this leaves CLG with the man advantage on the retake. Two men now, and it's all left to Zek. Does hit the first shot on Cutler. Has to bait out this bomb diffuser. Oh, what a reaction shot. How does he hit Hayes from that much of a flick? And now he's got this all down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And what a round from Zek. Four kills go to his way, and Mouse Spaz are still alive and well. Uh, I'm telling you, Zek's, Zek's op, it looks, looks very, very solid. It'll be fun to watch him throughout this whole season, but... Uh, just another good display, and it's been it's been solid. You know, even though they've lost their first three or four matches, it's solid through all of them. So, Zek putting on a little bit of a clinic there, and a nice clutch win under his name. Man, that's awesome to see. This guy's looking strong on both sides. That's encouraging. He could get caught out here, though. Cutler actually pushes up, not able to get the kill. Zek does get one. 
Hayes, there's the one Diggy was looking for, or just a Diggy. Ooh, Ooh, a second one. Come on, second one as he was falling off the ladder, too. That was sexy. Demise, though, gets back into Hayes. Fruit's going to catch out Finesse, and uh, now we're back to an, just a poly, or pardon me, just a lucky player remaining. But he's rather unlucky because he's got no friends, and Zek's going to find him. And uh, Mousepaz, again, a late charge, similar to how we saw it in the first half. Took them a while to get rolling, find their feet, but once they get going, it's almost like they're, a, they're strictly a momentum team. Yeah, well, that, that's very indicative of, like, the younger teams coming to this professional level. It's, it's you know, it's one of those things you have to learn. How are you gonna, How do you stop momentum? How do you gain your own momentum? You know, how do you stay level-headed in terms of your emotions, whether it be getting too hyped over a win or too down over a round you lost? So that's that's one of the things we that, that's consistent with teams who just get moved up. So I'm already crossing over lower. No one up close to spot that time is lucky and finesse are both. Both holding passive positions, but look at this smoke from Hayes. He's gonna get trapped out long, but he goes for the snack splash. It is deep enough, and he dodges it. He catches the both, but he can't. Yes, he does. Okay. Thought he aimed off the first one too soon. Beautiful snack splash. And he gets two. That's perfect play from Hayes. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. You want to talk about how hyped they are over Zex round? Now they just got crushed. Ter or Polly drops Terex, so they have an opening into the outer bomb site. Polly's got to do a lot more, though. Kind of wheeling around these lanes. Imsa chimes in. Cutler trades it off, but Polly's going to come in on this bomb site now. He's wheeling around Cutler. Cutler wins that battle. It's down to a one on two. Just Zek, the hero of just a couple rounds ago, he's going to start getting flanked out. Yeah, looks yeah like the he's issue wary. is exactly that. Yeah, Finesse is right behind him, but yeah, he does turn around, interestingly enough. So good awareness from him to realize he's in a bit of an odd spot. Cutler still gets the kill, but he was looking over to Cutler, and, and, and the play was simple. All he wanted to do was distract his attention, and Finesse was about to peek. But now they're on match point, so CLG look to take the first map tonight, but Mousepaz have put up a late fight. We'll see if they can continue on and make this at least a case. Yeah, yeah, you said it. They started out slow and they picked up some steam later on in these halves, but it's just too little too late. You, you can't fall that far behind uh, a team like CLG. They, they just kind of feed off that, and you can see now they're just gonna they're going to be punishing them here. Good frag distribution for CLG, by the way. 16 for Fnatic bottom and 21 for Tarek on the top. The rest are all in between. Good team performance. Lucky's looked good, good too. Hard to read on train, has to be said. Because it's not a map see all the time. It's not like the roles are really established on it yet. Right, and this setup in the uh, this setup in the inner bomb site for CLG is kind of go big, go home the way they have it. And now there's no one watching upper, so FNS has to win these. He's not going to be able to fall back. Lucky grabs one. Now he can fall. Now he can fall because Lucky slides. That first kill gave him the space to do so. And Lucky's going to pick up three. We just talked about how he's had a good game. And Finesse will close it out. Pauly drops. Good performance from CLG. 16-9 in the end. But I have to give Mousepaz a little bit of credit. They haven't picked up a win this season. But those are good numbers against potentially one of the top two. I would say two. Three for sure. But probably top two teams in North America right now. It's a debate between them and Elevate, I would say, for the number two spot.